When an atom is radioactive, that means that it has too much energy to be stable. Like a toddler, bouncing off the walls when they've had too much sugar. To be stable, it needs to release some of that energy, and it does so by emitting particles. There are three different particles that are emitted from radioactive decay. Those are alpha, beta, and gamma. Let's start with the first, alpha. Alpha particles are the most ionizing of all the particles. That's because they have no electrons. But because alpha particles have protons, it means that it wants electrons, and it gets them by stealing them from other atoms. Well, this is bad, because you and I both have electrons, and we need them for ourselves to operate correctly. So you might ask yourself, how do I protect myself from this particle moving at 15,000 kilometers per second? Well, all you're going to need is a high-tech piece of paper. That's right. Alpha particles are so fat and relatively low energy, they cannot go through paper or skin. Next on the list is the beta particle. This one gets emitted when a decaying nucleus needs to lose even more energy, so it yeets an electron. This particle is far more powerful than the alpha particle, but it's less ionizing, since it only has a minus one charge when compared to the plus two charge of the alpha particle. But due to its even faster speed, it can penetrate even deeper than the alpha particle can, needing a couple millimeters of metal such as aluminum or steel, or one meter in air. Now you're probably thinking, wow, these particles are really easy to stop. Why is radiation so hazardous? Well, there's still one to talk about, and that's gamma rays. Gamma rays are the most energetic and fastest, traveling at the speed of light. But gamma rays aren't very ionizing, unlike alpha and beta particles. But, because gamma particles have no mass, they can penetrate through so much more. And I'm not kidding. You need half an inch of lead just to block 50% of the gamma rays coming through. Lead and other dense elements are great for this, because of how close the atoms are together that the gamma ray is more likely to smack into it. Now back to what I said earlier, these particles are emitted because a radioactive particle needs to lose energy to become more stable. To become more stable has two options, it can emit a particle like we've seen before, or it can get smacked into by a neutron and it can split into two different elements. Here is an example. What you just witnessed was uranium-235 doing just that, but that's for another video.